Right, we're up. Oh, this is going to be fun. Find a compression stroke. Oh, fucking hell. And that is how you do it. <laughs> oh. See you later. evening all and it is a very late night just before the live stream tonight and we are delivering this back to the customer it's the XT500 and personal RB hand delivery and towing in behind me I have Simon GTR 1400 so uh, we're going to be doing a pillion ride on the way back having a bit of fun but <laughs> <laughs> Smiley Marley! I'm going to crack the visor up a bit. I am misting up a little bit. We'll open the vents on my helmet in a second. So, we are going to be poddling down the A5. As they say, for a little bimble. As Andy GSA Tractor would say. And then ride back with Simon on the big GTR 1400 it'd be the first time I have pillioned in about three years but I've got faith in Simon damn good rider as I wouldn't be pillioning him with him right I am gone out of here and one thing about this it's got those Massive great motocross tyres on it. Oh, loving this. Now, the only thing is, <laughs> the front mud guard. <laughs> oh, God. I'm getting splatted with water here. And this weird old indicator is you don't push to cancel. A few moments later. Try again. That was fun. The chain is a little bit tight on this. Jumped off the sprocket. And caught the sprocket. We should tell the customer when we get there. 
God, just spent five minutes trying to kick that over. So, steady bimble down the A5. And then we'll see where we get to. But the only thing is, obviously it's chucking all the water up off that front mudguard in my face. So we're going to sit a nice steady 45.50 as it is a very luxurious bike take our time with this one not going to open it up much above 50 take our time with this now we're only going down the road to uh, just the other side of Stony Stratford, not going to tell you where. We'll end the video early. And then when we do the ride back with Simon, happy days. We'll have a little bit of fun. But for test ride purposes, like I always do, nice steady 45.50. Just take it easy on this. It is a very expensive bike and if you know your XTs you'll know what I'm on about so obviously not pushing the engine that hard and I've got Simon GTR 1400 in tow behind me Nice little ride. Obviously the camera might have a bit of water on it by now. We're taking it nice and steady on this. so much power and torque a little bit of twist of the wrist and it's it's away but let's take a ride test and we're taking it nice and easy and obviously Simon's probably back there doing his own little thing on the video he's like Red Bob's goes hopefully he can slow why aren't he going any faster We should be doing a live stream in uh, about an hour and a bit. We should get back in time, hopefully, for a bit of fun. And no doubt talk about it on the live stream. So you'll probably hear about it on the live stream before you uh, see this video. But just to catch up, the GTR has been painted. All the panels are going back on tomorrow. And my bottom is going numb. This seat is vibrating like a darn good one. It's like sitting on a, uh, a toy, as I'd say, the woman's toy. Oh, the frills, the frills. But, typical motocrosser look. Watching me mirrors, as always. Nice steady 50. Won't be long till we are there. I say she is a beaut. A joy to actually ride this. I, it just brings back so many childhood memories of me being out on a bike and on a motocrosser. And obviously I spent two years with Team KTM and I loved every minute of riding 420s. I've had been looking around for a, a two-stroke 420 KTM and they are like rocking horse poo at the moment. But I have found one. I am in discussions with the guy but he wants far too much money for it 
So, watch this space as I say, the ZX7 is going. I've got the GTR, but I just want something for a little bit of off-road fun, or a bit of green lane in fun. And obviously looking at that 420 KTM, I want something a little bit old and retro. Now we did have a, a 300 coming today, KTM 300 six days, and that guy goes green lane. And I said, what's it like to ride? And he went, lovely, two-stroker, 300cc. It is absolutely full on nuts. And this big old single cylinder thumper is just the same thing, but it is absolutely pristine, immaculate condition. And it's just a joy to ride it. So, we should be delivering it to the customer, as I say. As soon as we get to the bottom of the roundabout or get close to home, we're going to cut out the video because obviously I don't want to give away the location of where the customer is all you thieving Arabs out there. Now just check out that headlight formation in that mirror. <laughs> that is the typical GTR 1400 Eagle Eyes just looking at you, all those lights on the front of that bike. You can't miss the darn thing. But this thing hasn't missed a beat yet. It is beaut, absolutely beaut. See, I've got lorries in that game past me, I don't care. I am taking my time on this. Last thing I want to be doing is uh, stressing out a customer's bike. But God, it sounds good. It sounds absolutely bloody lovely. I'm loving it. Apart from that vibrating seat, my uh, never regions. I've got pins and needles in them now. Great fun, absolutely great fun. And yes, I have got the high beam on to make people a bit more aware of me. They're not the best headlights in the world. I might as well just hold a candle in the dark with one of these. Great daytime ride, but nighttime Yamaha lights on the old motocross did suck big time. Hence why I've got Simon on the GTR behind me. But we will absolutely barrel down the road when we come back on it and get nice, some nice pillion shots on that. No doubt we shall be like, oh, 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 Simon, oh. we shall see. Could be worse, I could be on the back of Lockwood's bike. There's no comments there, boys. Uh, looking forward though, roll on June, get up to Scotland, meet up with the boys. Andy GSA Tractor is going up early to do the NC500 which should be uh, a good bit of fun Just hark at the thump on this thing <laughs> Oh God I am gritted like a Cheshire cat here Hear that crap. She does sound good. Boys are up for a minute. Like 
to say, it's like holding a bloody candle in the wind. Lights on this, oh crap! A little longer than a few minutes later. So here we go guys. Second part of the run, we're up at GTR Simon, I'm filling it up on this. <laughs> Smiley Miley again. Now we get to see how a real rider uses a GTR to the full power. And it's the first time I've been pillion in three years, but total faith in this guy in front that he's riding. And believe me, Simon knows how to ride a bike. So, a little barrel down the A5 at more than 50 mile an hour. And obviously, for the purposes of the camera, you can't see the speedos, but you'll probably always see he's going to be the back of Simon's head for the time being. And he's doing his own little video, you can see he's got his camera on, so he's having a, probably having a natter about me as well. Obviously, the same sort of thing that Uncle Red and uh, Rhythmic do together. Going two up sometimes you get to hear how this uh, beast actually runs properly. Thank God this is corner well. Now onto the A5 second lane, leaning it over and we are away. How to ride a GTR properly. Nothing better than being two up with a Rosper rider. Wind noise back here is incredible, but having fun. 